Welcome to the help videos for BioPharma Finder. In this video, I'm going to show you how to load a protein sequence for an intact analysis in which we want to connect the disulfide bonds. So in this example, we're going to look at an antibody and we need to connect the disulfide bonds. This is an intact analysis of the antibody. So in, we are in the Protein Sequence Manager tab. We're going to add a new sequence, so click the New button. We're going to import a protein sequence. And in this example, I'm going to open a FASTA file. Now this FASTA file, let me expand this so you can see, in this FASTA file, because we're looking at a intact antibody, which means we have two light chains and two heavy chains, we need to add two copies of each one of those, of the light chain and the heavy chain, to the FASTA file. So in this example, you'll see that we have light chain one, and here we have light chain two, and we have heavy chain two, and we have heavy chain one. So the molecular weight should match what you predict the molecular weight for the intact antibody to be. Again, you can see the different masses of the individual chains by clicking here. Okay, but if you're doing an intact analysis, you must bring in multiple copies of the chain. So you may also, uh, depending on what your molecule is, you might need to link your disulfide bonds. And in this example, we need to do that. So I'm going to show you how to go about doing that. So I find it easier to, to reduce this um, definitions page, which will show you the disulfide bonds just because it gives you more space. And you can go always expand this back and go check uh, to make sure you've done it correctly. You can also reduce this window if you need more room uh, so you can see how to link your disulfide bonds. In order to link the disulfide bonds, you want to click to the left of a cysteine, right click, create link. Now when it's red, you can link it to another cysteine. So this is an inter-disulfide uh, bond between two cysteines and the light chain. And so I can just go through and highlight and link and create disulfide bonds. Now as I'm doing this, what's happening is they're being added to the table down below. So you can double check the residue numbers to make sure you're doing this correctly. You can also link the light chain to the heavy chain. And you can also link the heavy chain to the second copy of the heavy chain to create the bridge, the hinge region, sorry. Okay, so once you've gone through and linked all the disulfide bonds together in the protein, the table down below will display all the correct information. And as you can see, these are light chain to light chain, light chain to light chain. Here we're going from chain 1, the 219, to chain 2 of the heavy chain to the 222. So that's represented this bond. If you want to unlink something, you can simply click on the cysteine, right click, and remove the link, and you can remove the link from the, from the software. The cysteines must not have static modifications in order to link them together. And this is, shows you how to link the disulfide bonds for a intact uh, molecular weight analysis uh, for an antibody. Thank you.